depth description on how to implant uh, from the right side. First of all, if you position the table so that it, it uh, so that you face the feet, um, you'll find that everything works a lot better. And also, if you have the table at the same height as the patient table, that also make things uh, makes things a lot easier. And so, to do that, this is the table I use. It has uh, it, it has a flap on it so that you can go RAO and LAO without banging into the legs. Uh, it also elevates to the same height uh, as the patient. So the first step uh, is to get access and then advance the whirly sheath um, to the RASVC junction and take out the dilator and leave the sheath positioned right at the RASVC junction. The next step is to hand shape a multi-purpose guide. Um, and this is good for both the right side and for difficult left-sided cases. And this is a list of the different catheters that can be hand shaped. The one I like to use the most is the Boston Scientific Mach 1 MP2. The other ones uh, are acceptable as well. The way to shape it uh, is to start way back like this and then go forward. And remember, this is a guide, not a diagnostic catheter. Uh, the lumen of a guide is large enough for 2.035 inch wires and to inject contrast with the wires in place, which was very important. Uh, so what we're doing here is we're advancing the six, the, the hand-shaped multi-purpose catheter uh, over a glide wire uh, into the right ventricle. From there, we withdraw and apply counterclockwise torque uh, to locate the CS, and that usually goes pretty smoothly. Once you locate the CS, uh, in some cases, the MP2 will advance quite nicely uh, deep into the coronary sinus. In other cases, of course, it doesn't go so easily, and so you advance a glide wire uh, into the CS. And make sure it's an angled glide wire and then gradually advance the six French multipurpose over the glide wire uh, deep into the CS. At this point, don't take out the glide wire. Uh, you want to add um, an Amplatz wire. So to add the Amplatz wire, you trap the glide wire at the hub and then insert the short taper Amplatz wire all the way to the tip. Remember, it's important to use a short taper amplatz rather than a standard taper amplatz because a standard taper amplatz will not provide support in the coronary sinus. Uh, the short taper amplatz, J-tip amplatz wire is currently available only from Cook and Merit Medical. So once you have the guide deep in the coronary sinus, with a glide wire and an Amplatz wire, or if, if there's stability issues, you can take the glide wire out and put two Amplatz wires in. But once you have this rail that's been created by the, guide, the guiding catheter and the wires, you can then advance uh, the sheath uh, into the coronary sinus. And this works almost always, um, even with difficult CS anatomy. And once you get to here, um, we're going to re we remove the guiding catheter uh, and we remove the glide wire, but we leave one of the Amplatz wires in place and we secure it to the uh, table so that it doesn't come back. And one way to do it is to secure the wire uh, to the drape with a clip like this. Um, on the other hand, if you have a table that has the proper elevation and is able to be placed perpendicularly, perpendicular to the patient, you can use a large angled clamp, clamp the wire, and then hang the edge of the angle over the edge of the table and then put a towel on it. And that's a nice way to stabilize the Amplatz wire so it doesn't come back. Once the lead's in place, uh, we're going to put a soft stylet all the way to the tip 
and that can be done as long as the, uh, uh, the subselector is in place. So you can see the subselector here uh, is in place. We have the amplat uh, wire still in place, and we have the stylet to the tip. So the first step then uh, is to uh, cut away uh, the renal LBI subselector. Um, and then again, with the amplats wire still in place, we withdraw uh, the sheath, peel away the sheath. And then again, with a soft stylet still to the tip of the pacing lead, we're going to remove uh, the amplats wire. It's a little worrisome when you're doing this because you're concerned that the tip of the amplats wire will grab the um, lead, but that usually doesn't happen. And then the final step uh, is to remove the stylet. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you.